I'm sorry if if there were going through a bad time in, in I, didn't, I didn't have anything to do that. That's I understand. I understand that, that and, and um, I, you know, you take that to heart. But it comes back to my motion. I feel like I, me personally, want somebody in there that I can trust, somebody that I think is going to be working for the city in full awareness of what the city council wants when it comes to. And so 20 years means nothing to you, Chris? Sir? 20 years means nothing. You ever worked for a job for 20 years? No, I haven't. Have. No, I haven't. It may have lasted five or six years. And it's congratulations yeah. to you. I mean, that's very good. And, I, and it's, you know, says a little bit about character. Well, yeah, well that's, that's good. But the fact is, and I don't know if it's for the reasoning of a lack of interest to your job or what brought it upon you to, to take it pretty much upon yourself to sign off everything we've been working for. You know, and, and that, whether it's, whether we've never been written up, whether it's one or three, four times, it's the fact of needing somebody in that position that we can trust and somebody that we know is going to be competent enough to, to fulfill the obligations that, that job position requires. Okay. Question, please. Question, please. So if you fire Daryl, who else knows the code in the ordinance? We so they're they're all I, I want to say certified to to handle all the ordinances and everything until that position was replaced. Which means if we hire someone, we'll have to hire someone who has the accreditations, or we have to pay to send them to school. The city does, correct? correct. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, and if Ronald knows all the codes and the ordinances. And how come he didn't step up and correct Daryl since he's his boss? Daryl has his own job. Ronald, the superintendent, was not approached with any inquiries or uh, undecided facts about the building plan. It was it was Daryl's job to maintain that, to maintain <coughs> our policy, to maintain the comprehensive plan, and it was not done. Okay, but <clears throat> not being, excuse me for, you know, I mean, a teacher for many years here. There's there's a uh, there's usually a letter of the law how you go about doing things before you fire somebody. And to me, what I don't understand, um, the letter I don't know who, but the, whoever wrote the letter said he hadn't been written up or anything. So I guess my my question is, how can we just out and out fire somebody when you've never bothered to reprimand on writing them up and build a case that you have? Look, I have this to stand on. We, we have the right to fire you. Do, do, you, do you understand what I'm saying? You know, it's, it's a fact of what the what the fence is. It's a fact of to be over anything. I mean, I'm sure there's teachers in your school that may have been fired for and never been written up. So what's no, the law doesn't allow for that. You have to well, the law does allow for this. And so, we, we, I'll contact the TML, which is our Texas Municipal League, and it's, it can be justified without ever being written up. Justified by just? By the City Council. By the City Council. So everybody has to agree. If we took a vote, three-quarters of us would have to agree. Yes.